just a little bit about me. Before I worked on App Engine, I worked on making Google Web Search faster. So when I started working on Ruby on App Engine, the idea that every once in a while one of your requests is going to take 10 seconds, 5 seconds even, uh, even though the rest of your requests are 200 milliseconds, that 10 second really, really bothers me. So I was talking to John one day. I was like, wouldn't it be awesome if you could write something that looks like Ruby? It's as fun to write as Ruby. Um, but you get a nice, fast Java file um, that'll run you know, super fast. doesn't have to load the whole Ruby runtime or anything like that. And so I did a little looking. Turns out there was Doobie. It does exactly that. And so since then, I've been working on making Doobie better. So this is what Doobie looks like. If you read it, um, it looks almost exactly like Ruby, except for this highlighted part here. Um, Doobie is statically typed. So you have to declare the type of your method arguments. It goes ahead and infers all the other types from that. It infers your return type. Um, here from a, it can tell that A is an integer, so this function is going to return an integer. Um, then when you run the Doobie compiler, it can go ahead and generates this Java for you. Uh, you can also have it just directly generate a class file. Um, so you don't have to write all of this stuff. For something more complicated, it's obviously a lot nicer. Um, so Doobie is not Ruby. Uh, so one of the things a lot of people ask at first is, can I use Rails? Can I use Sinatra? Uh, you can't. Um, we could, I mean, eventually we can write things that work just like Rails and Sinatra for Doobie. But right now, there's not much. Um, like I said, Doobie is statically typed. So your Ruby code obviously doesn't have that. It's also using the Java type system instead of Ruby's type system. So you have packages, and classes are inside a package instead of having this one namespace. Um, also, I kind of mentioned before, there's no, no Doobie runtime at all. You run the compiler. It spits out a plain Java class, and all it depends on is the Java runtime. So starting up, Doobie is super fast. You also benefit from Java's uh, on-demand loading. So if even if you require you know, some other library, it's not going to load up the classes for that until you actually use them. So that helps a lot when you're running on App Engine. Um, so here's more complicated Doobie app. As far as I know, this is the most complicated Doobie app that's been written so far. <laughs> Fits on a page, that's not great. But um, so this is a lot like uh, what John was showing. We've got a model. This is using a Doobie plugin. Um, and then we have a servlet here. This is a Java servlet we're creating. Um, Doobie, we, we don't have to declare the types here because HTTP servlet has this abstract do get method. So it automatically figures out that request has to be an HTTP servlet request, response has to be an HTTP servlet response. Um, then we have compiler plugins. They're doing these things here. Um, I mean, one of the things I love about Ruby is how extensible the language is. And so I want Doobie to be the same thing. Like, that's one of the things I, I'm really excited about is the idea of bringing uh, metaprogramming and extensibility to Java and having it all happen at compile time so it's super fast. Um, so here is basically what a compiler plugin looks like right now. Uh, Doobie is written in Ruby. So uh, this is the templating plugin we've got. It actually requires ERB. I mean, I grayed out some of the stuff that is just Doobie internals. But basically, we create an ERB compiler. And here, um, so when I call def edb, I'm passing in the name of a method I want it to make and a file name. So then it goes, reads this file, compiles it using ERB, and then just evaluates that as Doobie um, and sticks that into your class. 
So you can write extensions like that. It's the same sort of thing here for this property. Uh, it, you give it the name of your property and the type. It goes and generates a getter, a setter, finders, all that stuff for you. Um, and then, so this is, this is the sort of template uh, you'd use. It looks just like normal ERB. Uh, we don't have to declare any types here because it's adding a method to your class, so it, it's able to infer the type from your instance variables. It knows posts is an array of posts. And, uh, so I just moved last week. There was a lot more stuff I wanted to be able to show you with Doobie, but I've been too busy packing and painting and everything to actually implement it. But so we're going to be adding very soon support for blocks and yield, um, things like uh, your methods you're used to from enumerable, being able to say like each or each with index and stuff like that. Um, and that'll work with Java 2. So you can call any method that expects like a Java callback. You just say like add listener do and put your code there. It'll create a closure for you uh, as an anonymous class and pass that in uh, to, the, to the Java thing for you. Uh, I also want to make metaprogramming easier so it's more like you do in Ruby where you can just uh, you know, define within your method instead of having to write a Ruby plugin that exists somewhere else. Uh, also things like method missing are all things that we can add in the compiler so it's all happening beforehand and still run super fast. You could use your active record style finders, but it'll see at compile time and evaluate that down to an actual method call instead of being slow every time you run the finder. So. Yeah, so actually I'd like to sort of add in a couple things. So Ryan showed his module for ERB. He's you know, using the ERB from Ruby and making it work in Doobie. And so there's you know, also some cases where that won't work, but in the case of uh, JRuby, you know, there's a uh, YAML parser that Olavini wrote that's part of JRuby now. You could use that from Ruby, from JRuby. You can also use it from Doobie the same way. You could create a configuration that's a YAML file that describes how to build a form, and you can have shared templates between Ruby and Doobie that, that use the same templates. So you could basically build your apps in little chunks like controllers and start out with Ruby, and then as you decide that there's certain controllers that need to be faster and more performant or possibly spin up faster, you can just refactor them into Doobie, and in some cases you might not need to change much of anything. You use all the same ERB templates, you could use the same you know, YAML configuration files, and you're basically deploying Java servlets that spin up in less than a second in some cases. 